Welcome back to Code Chef. What if you could tell your computer to perform multiple steps in an organized way? Today, we'll explore how Java understands individual statements, groups of instructions called code blocks, and the role of semicolons in keeping everything clear. Think of writing a Java program like giving step-by-step -step instructions to a chef. Each instruction, like chop onions or boil water, is a statement ending with a pause, just like a semicolon. When several related steps are grouped together, like a full recipe, that's similar to a code block, organized within curly braces to keep everything neat. A Java statement is a single instruction ending with a semicolon. A code block is a group of statements enclosed in curly braces that runs together as a logical unit. Code blocks are used in methods, conditionals, and loops to group multiple statements. Why are blocks important in programming? They help organize multiple steps when conditions apply. For example, when X is positive, you may want to execute multiple print statements, not just one. Without blocks, only the first statement runs, causing bugs or unexpected behavior. Here's a simple Java example. The first statement assigns 5 to X. Then, the condition checks if X is greater than 0. Since it is, both print statements inside the block run in order. After compiling and running the program, the output will be Positive x is 5, did you know? Empty blocks are valid in Java and sometimes used as placeholders. Also, blocks can be nested for more complex logic, like, this keeps your code clean and structured. Now it's your turn. Try the beginner-friendly Code Chef problem. Print two numbers. Write a program that prints two numbers, one on each line. Today you learned Statements are individual commands ending with semicolons. Code blocks group statements inside curly braces. Blocks help control multiple steps in conditions and loops. Code. Debug repeat. Build mastery with CodeChef.